Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, man is going back to the moon, but this time it'll be done through a private companies instead of uh, the, the instead of NASA or other governments. European rocket scientist has pledged the first private moon landing scheduled for next year, 2018, according to reports. Uh, this group of European rocket engineers called PT Scientist or Part-Time Scientist has completed its construction of a landing module and two rovers, which are expected to launch about aboard Elon Musk SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, which will be uh, entering the space uh, in 2018, it will be launched. And so the group's landing module will be programmed to land in the uh, on the moon, which is roughly two miles from the site of where Apollo 17 mission landed. Actually, according to the Telegraph out of the UK, the landing module will deploy two rovers with the goal of tracking down NASA's moon buggy, which was left behind by Gene Cernan, who was the last man to have stepped foot on the moon. Now, the group of scientists are aiming to discover how well NASA's buggy has maintained on the lunar surface for more than 40 years. This is a crucial first step for sustainable exploration of the solar system. So that's why they're going to go find the buggy. Uh, so this is interesting, all right? It's, it is kind of interesting that we haven't put another man on the moon in 40 years, uh, uh, that we've went on to do other things. But uh, so we're going to find this buggy by using these two rovers. That we're not putting another man on the moon in 2018, but we are going to land there. And so what kind of condition will that buggy be in? How will the metals, how will the material, how did it maintain itself? What kind of condition is it in? What is the atmosphere of space like if something stayed in space for 40 years? Uh, my question is, how much radiation would it have? You know, So I'm sure they're going to do all the testing there is around it, find out all about it. <clears throat> Should be interesting. But anyway, it, the key thing here, I think the point is, governments have moved on to other things, and now private companies, the technologies of the past are now in the hands of private companies, and private companies are even actually now going past where uh, we never thought people could go. For instance, SpaceX, uh, led by Elon Musk, can launch a rocket and then drop it back down on the same spot or, or on a platform. Uh, re I mean, this is unbelievable. I even see when he re-landed that one rocket on a floating platform in the ocean. Just incredible in, uh, ability. But uh, that's how we're advancing. The technological age has advanced in so many areas that it's just unbelievable. But the Bible said it would. Men would be ever learning but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. This is incredible to me. But ever learning but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. What is the truth? Well, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And so no man can come unto the Father but by me. We can climb high into the heavens, folks, but we cannot reach that dimension, that heavenly level, that third heaven, without being born again, saved by grace through Jesus Christ. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy you don't want to miss today's live broadcast. Starts at 12 noon Eastern. My guest, L.A. Marzuli. What? Yes. Get an update about what's happening with the Nephilim research. I'll be back with more.